Hello folks, it's Gary GSF and today we are going to look at some of my retro cameras. Stuff that I've bought over the years and I still have in possession. I don't want to sell it for buttons and uh, there really is some really strange bits and pieces. But uh, I'll run you through it um, and some have been really game changing. But follow me along, uh, you'll see some of my uh, favourite things and there's one I just don't want to get rid of. It's uh, just such a, a cracking little, uh, little camera. And I'm going to start with that now. So, without further ado, we'll flip to the, the cameras. Right, for reference, I'm just going to show you the, the 4K of the uh, Panasonic HC VX870 uh, 4K. Everything in automatic mode, so uh, uh, hopefully it'll all be fair, but uh, it's not really fair because uh, we're going old school. Now, this is the game changer, the one that. Uh, really changed uh, video photography for me and it was a pocket camcorder one of the very first and uh, it was from Kodak it was a Kodak ZX1 or uh, if you're American CX1 but this was uh, a fabulous piece of equipment um, that was first uh, into HD video so as you can see handy little piece of handy little device okay switch it on okay and you'll see HD 60, now that's 720 HD, not your full 1080, 1080p. But you can change that uh, as well. You can take it to, as you now can see, this uh, photograph, um, VGA video. HD video, that's uh, 720p, 30 frames per second, and HD 60. Now this had its limitations. Uh, in low light, you would find it dropping frames, rather than... Uh, going way up ISOs, uh, or maybe it wasn't capable of doing it, but it started to drop frames. So in low light you got very jerky video, I would say it goes down to 15 frames per second, and it's really quite poor. So, uh, so simple on off switch, goes to the play files, that's back to the camera, that's stop, and that's uh, your uh, delete button. Uh, you have, uh, I think it's 4x, Optical zoom or digital zoom, it's not optical, and um, a really good wee, wee toy. It's not even a toy, it was really quite good in this day. As you can see, small lens in the front of it, a nice microphone, and runs on AA batteries. A really, really versatile little thing. Uh, took full size HD cards. So, we'll switch to some video of that now. I'll show you from the, the bridge. Okay, this was the game changer, uh, the one that uh, introduced me to HD video, though only 720 HD. Uh, this is the uh, Kodak ZX1 at uh, 720, 60 frames per second, uh, and it was in its day an absolute wonderful little thing. Um, it's 50 pounds, great job, 49.99. Uh, so uh, that was the game changer. Now what you see in front of you is uh, what was known as an 808 keychain camera. These were bought from China, uh, sub five pounds, sub eight dollars. Um, this one was, uh, you could get them in uh, 720 and 1080p as time went on, but this was 700, 720 by 480. And uh, well, well, I bought to stick on my motorbike and do different things like that. Um, I used to put Velcro on the bottom of it and stick it to the motorbike. Easy operation. Hold that down to switch on. Press that button for a photograph. Just press it once. If you press and hold, it starts the video. Dead simple. Press it once to stop the video. Uh, goes through a uh, uh, USB Type B and. Uh, takes a micro SD card so we'll flip to some video of that but th this was uh, this is 10 12 years old this one uh, and uh, still working working away quite well a great little camera right this is the first of the keychain cameras this is the 808 uh, keychain uh, cost less than five pounds uh, and is well no screen on it but uh, what a wonderful piece of equipment records at 720 by 480 um, at 30 frames per second 
uh, does tend to drop frames, you know, what, what do you expect for the money, but uh, really good value and uh, uh, this is just fabulous little uh, little toy. Okay, you're looking at uh, another uh, 808 camera. This is the 808 Jumbo number 11, which is 720p uh, high definition video, 720p 30 frames per second. So. Simple enough design. It looks like a, a Volkswagen car key of the day. It's probably 10 years old, this camera. Um, this is your on off button. Press and hold for on. Okay. So it goes defaults into video mode. So then you'll be started. Just press that button to start the video. If you press this again once, it takes you into photographic mode. And you press that. And it takes the photograph. Press that again, it takes you back to video. And there you go. That's video now taken. Just on the side you have your USB Type-B, that's your microphone, a little hole in the side is your microphone and that is your micro SD card. So we'll flip to some video of this, um, another one that I would Velcro to my bike, my motorbike and uh, that would run for 40 minutes maybe, where the other 808 would have, would have only run for 20 minutes. But still amazing, this one at the time, I think I paid about £18 for it. Uh, the only thing with the 808 is that you don't have a screen. But we'll uh, we'll flip now to show you the video out of the 808 Jumbo number 11. Okay, this is the 808 number 11 Jumbo. Uh, it looks like the the keys of a, a Volkswagen of the day. Um, it's 720p, uh, 30 frames per second, and uh, I, I think it was around about 17 pounds when I bought it can't be 100% on that but it was, it was a sub 20 pounds but uh, uh, another fabulous toy uh, just really uh, re really was uh, quite intu intuitive at this time and it was, it was easy to stuck to, to stick to the bike with uh, velcro so we'll move on to the the compact cameras I will flip to a little uh, a little compact camera that I bought um, can't really remember what I paid for this and it's that long ago this is probably nine or ten years ago as well um, seven times optical zoom on it um, it's, it's essentially a stills camera it's more, more aimed at, at stills but it does 720p 30 frames per second video um, just simple enough switch it on switch the button on top press it and hold that's you on straight into video, uh, stills mode and you can take your stills with a red button you also have your video mode here if you press that it goes straight into video and as you can see uh, it then goes into your the the 16 by 9 um, format just press that again to stop it and say you have your your zoom and then you go into your digital zoom which I really, I'm not a fan of there. It uh, just degrades the quality of the video. But great little stills camera. This Love, lovely skin tones and lovely tones of uh, uh, of colours, but uh, not so wonderful on the the video. But uh, we'll we'll uh, flip now and do a bit of video and maybe take a still from the, the same position to let you know. Okay, this is the Alpha Optima One Four Seven. Um, this wasn't a very expensive camera, but it's more aimed at stills. It was 720p video, and that's what we're shooting at, at the moment. Um, but a, a, a nice little camera with a, a, a full USB that plugs in, just the flips out and plugs in to charge. and re Really a nice wee camera, but uh, 720p video wasn't great. But you'll see also a bit of still afterwards, and it's, uh, it really is quite nice. Now we're looking at another little compact camera, uh, another Panasonic Lumix. Uh, it's a DMC SZ8. Now, a nice little camera for taking stills. It has 720p, 30 frames per second video on it. Um, th I didn't rate it for video, but at, by this stage uh, I was using 1080p with uh, other camcorders and um, th 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 I had just moved on. Um, but. Handy to, to keep with me on my motorbike. Um, again, on off switch there. And just 
press the, the normal shutter button and then you have a little red button to the side for to start the video. And the video is 16 by 9. Uh, it'll only take 9 minutes, just short of 9 minutes uh, record at a time. But uh, it is uh, quite, quite a good little camera. But as I say, the video 720p was really not wonderful. But uh, it, uh, it is more stills camera than it is a, a video camera. But sure, we'll switch now to let you see what it looks like. This is the Panasonic pa Panasonic Lumix a DMC S Set 8. Again, more of a stills camera than a video camera, but uh, we're run recording at uh, 720p uh, uh, at HD. Um, again, aimed, aimed at the, the stills, so uh, this is a video, and uh, I'll include a still just after this. This is an interesting little camera here. This is uh, a Panasonic HX DC1. So DC1 is for dual camera one. Um, they did two generations, DC1, DC2. Um, there you go, uh, it had a 12X optical zoom, really good. Um, when you flipped out the screen, it would automatically switch on and you had your zoom there. Capable of 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. Um, so just to take a, a stills, you press that button. Okay. And to start video, you press the button to the right. It has uh, electronic image stabilization on it. Um, not particularly up to much, uh, the stabilization. But it was really good quality on its day. And uh, the form factor, this pistol grip type, uh, type form factor was really really handy and uh, again you could get two hands on it and keep it nice and still for when you're you were you were videoing so uh, we'll flip to see some videos of that and I'll do a still from it as also but a uh, really interesting little camera and I just uh, again I can't part with it for for buttons because it's, it's it's certainly worth more than that and it, it does get the odd little use <laughs> Today's been a great uh, use for it, so I can, I can then take it and, and use it and let you see what you think of it. And finally we'll show you the, the 1080p Panasonic HC, HXDC1, all these model numbers. Panasonic uh, HXDC1, dual camera one. Uh, it films at uh, 1080p um, at 30 frames per second. Uh, it has other settings of course as well, but that's the max, and uh, it also does 14 megapixel stills. So uh, that's all those cameras, so uh, we'll go, go back to the completion. What I will do, I'll actually, after the, the picture out of this, I'll actually do a mobile phone and show you how, show you how things have moved on. And now things have moved on, this is my mobile phone, a Motorola Edge 20 Pro. Uh, it's uh, recording at 4K 60 frames per second, and uh, this was the death of, uh, of 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 compact cameras and things like that. They're now uh, more specialised. So uh, there you go. But uh, I'll just flip now to the outro. Well, that's some of the old school cameras. I've now uh, into the 4K stuff, and uh, the film in this was. Uh, um, a Panasonic HX um, HC VX 870 um, with um, a Boya uh, BYM1 uh, so lovelier microphone. Um, it's hard to look back when you look at the video quality compared to this. Uh, it seems quite poor, but uh, in its day it was uh, wonderful, especially the little ZX1. The ZX1 was a real game changer when you've been playing around with. Uh, with the uh, normal uh, seven, not even seven twenty, your your normal VGA type video, and uh, even when you got the widescreen, it was still poor. But uh, the, that was a big change. But as you can see now, it's <laughs> it's not up to much now. But uh, folks, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you like some of my my, my old school uh, cameras, and uh, you know, give us give us give us your thoughts down below. It's always good to hear from you. Uh, 
like, subscribe, and share if uh, if you feel the need. And uh, uh, hopefully, you come back to another video quite soon. This is Gary GSF signing off, and thanks for watching. Take care, and bye for now.